takes a minimum of eight crew on the bridge to run. So we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. Which means everyone needs to be ready for... Take cover! Now what? We need that door sealed. We can handle that. Where do you need us? There's an access panel there. You should be able to patch into the local systems. We'll be shot getting there. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! inside the bridge. That'll throw anyone on the bridge right up into the seal. He'll never see it coming. Itasuka, get ready to charge. Stop. Reversing gravity polarity. Now! Amazing. Close it. How do we get them down? What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. It may not be convenient, but we don't kill enemies who've surrendered. Keeping prisoners is a luxury we don't have. <laughs> it's not a damn luxury. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takan could show up any minute. Crystals. This place. Huh. Careful where you point that thing. It's not active. I can't see any way this would work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? Not sure. Where's the captain? Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. console looks unaffected. Engine's a red line, running at full power. But this main drive manifold is spiking way over nominal levels. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. That much reactor output would drive us past the theoretical top speed of this ship. So how fast are we actually going?
this out before we get wherever we're going. The Resolute can't catch up to us. We're in a whole different kind of trouble. Any trouble? Don't worry about me. Worry about Stretch over there. Why? He's looking for any excuse to vaporize the prisoners. But I'll make sure he doesn't. Even if they're the enemy, it's not right. I'm here if you need a hand. Just hurry up and figure out this bridge. That's the best way to help. Everything under control? Yes. At least the Khan haven't made a move. Yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way. As long as they behave. It's the Takan language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good. There are two interfaces on top of each other. This... this is not a Lydian programming. the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try. Well, if we're careful, maybe we can blast the crystals off with our phasers. All right. Just use caution. the station itself before you get through that. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. We're gonna be there in less than an hour. We can't let that happen. Hold on. It would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. Even with the engines pushed as hard as they are, they wouldn't produce this speed. Whether it's these crystals, or the power from the cartabula, the Takan have found a way to increase the engine output at top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it, so they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is if they don't destroy us all first. Well, we do our part, and just worry about that. What more they have to their plan? People like this are never satisfied. 
There's always more that they want. And they are obviously going somewhere. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Until he touched it. must be bio-coded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Armintide. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Ah! 